now that we've got the spot chosen to mount the ring and to drill our hole, we're going to go ahead and trace this out to make sure that we know exactly and find the exact center point so that when we drill it out, our hole stays in the appropriate location. Now that we have our uh, hole uh, drilled out here, it's very important that we take accurate measurements. We know what our, the depth of our tank is going to be. Now, measure twice, cut once. We're going to go ahead and cut our uh, fuel pump hanger bracket to size. Alright, so now that we've got a bracket cut, we're going to go ahead and cut our foam. Now, much like cutting the bracket, simply measure your height. Now, with this, we want to go about an inch, inch and a half taller than the inside of the tank. So we're going to go ahead and measure this off at seven and a half. This will also act as a guide tool to drill our holes around the outside for our installation ring. Okay, now that you have your first hole drilled, it's important that you try to keep your, uh, to hold your ring in place so that you don't get the register off. So we're going to take one of the installation screws and we're going to drop down in there. Now that we've got all our holes drilled, again, Time to clean out the tank. Go ahead and install our basket baffles. We're going to go ahead and take our installation tool. We're going to give it a light coat of WD-40. Install it here. Make sure our foam is seated. Line it up like this. installed in the tank. Okay, now our ring is in. Go ahead and slide our baffle back into place, make sure it's nice and centered up. Install our gasket on. That in place. Go ahead and install our fuel pump. clamp to attach to secure your pump to the spine. Alright, so we'll go ahead and install our second clamp on here. Alright, now that we have our fuel pump secured to a bracket assembly or hanger assembly, we're going to go ahead and put the uh, fuel filter on. Now our fuel pump's on, our filter is on the fuel pump. We're going to go ahead and test fit this in the tank again. Hold it in place with one of our nylon lock nuts. Alright, so now that I got uh, the two uh, nylon lock nuts started, we're going to go ahead and compress the gasket a little bit by tightening these down in order for us to be able to fit our nylon washers on here and then, and then of course, the lock nuts. Okay, as you're tightening these down, it's very important that you make sure you get a nice tight seal all the way around. Now we've got both high and low spots, so it's going to be very important that there's no visible space between those high and low spots on the gasket. So, rule of thumb here, 
On the high spots, you want to compress that gasket to an eighth of an inch um, or even less. This can be compressed quite a bit here. And then making sure you've got a nice even seal all the way around on all the other spots. All right, so now that we've got all this installed, it's going to be very important to check the leaks before you bolt this up in the car and fill it full of gas. So our recommendation, put some gas in it, get it up on its side, check for, for as, uh, any leaks that you see. If you don't see any leaks after a little while and after moving it in multiple directions and sloshing the fuel around, you should be ready to go ahead and install your uh, fittings uh, and your lines and get ready to bolt it in the car and you're done.